In this video, we're going to be breaking down my favorite bunch defense right now in Madden 23. Comes to us out of the nickel over formation, the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. I think that the nickel over is the most overpowered defense in the game. And when I, when I say that, it's because it has the potential to overpower your opponent. And that's exactly how we're going to run this defense. Now, if you would like to learn uh, multiple different ways to run this defense, make sure that you join our Patreon. That's where you can get access to my Nickel Over Defensive eBook. This defense is very, very powerful. I probably will be in this defense the majority of the year. We'll talk about other defenses, but right now, and, and unless anything major changes to the game, this defense is really, really powerful, okay? So how do you set this up to stop Bunch? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to show you my favorite Bunch defense in the game. Um, it's not my... I have some other stuff in the Patreon that's a little glitchier. But this is kind of the foundation uh, of this. And uh, we're going to need Corner Strike. And so basically we're going to come out in the play LB Blitz 1. Okay? Now, really important. Okay? You can use Overstorm Brave. I like LB, LB Blitz 1 better. It's better against the run. It's better from a personnel perspective of who's going to guard who, okay? I think it's got significantly better alignment, and it's better natural coverage, okay? So I'll be blitz one is what we're going to use, and the defense is basically this. Pinch your defense. Blitz your linebackers. Crash your defensive line inside. Now, this play art is a little glitched, but that's what it looks like right there, okay? That's what you want. Now... We're going to um, user this safety over the guard right here. And what I like to do is I'm holding left trigger at the snap of the ball. And what's going to happen is if they run, I'm going to shoot through just like this. And if they pass, uh, I've got some other options. So, again, we're here. We're holding left trigger. They run the ball. The defense itself should stop the run. Okay? You don't have to worry too much about the run with this defense because you have so many people in the box. Okay? Okay? Now, the one thing you've got to worry about is if the running back goes on a route, he's your job. So if they run a wheel, i got to get out here and go guard the wheel. That's why we want to stand over the guard because it allows us to guard the quick throw wheel significantly better than we could prior. Okay. Now, what if the running back goes on an in? Well, I'm going to loop back to the in route, as you see right there. Okay. But by holding left trigger at the snap of the ball, it's going to really mess with the offensive line. So I always want my first steps to be down. And if the running back does block, you're going to see we're still going to get pressure, as you can see right there. So the the blitz, <coughs> excuse me, the blitz, the pressure is coming in really, really fast. Now, the last little piece of this is we are going to manually back off the uh, receiver that is guarding, or the corner that's guarding the slot receiver, and we're going to shade our coverage outside. What this does is two things. So the first thing is if they... Do this, you're going to see right here that the C route is not going to be open. He did catch it, but it wasn't open, right? Um, it's not going to be as open on the left side. Now, another thing you can do if you want to is you can put this guy on an outside third, okay? That will stop the C route because you got to think about it. My user is going to go to the flat here. So I'm guarding here, and as you can see, the pressure is there. That that third is there. It's very difficult to, to hit this. One of the things that I like about this setup is that this safety is much closer to the tight end than an Overstorm Brave. So the tight end quick throw uh, to the flat is really not that powerful. You see, I'm able to get out there. I'm able to make a play. Okay? So what do they have? What do they realistically have? You can't throw quick to the running back. you got to throw quick over the middle. Okay? So you got to throw quick over the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to start and run at the running back, and then at the last second, we're going to peel back to the middle. So if they do this, we're going to go boom, and then we're going right to the tight end. If we see the running back block, if we see the running back block, we are going to the tight end. Running back blocks, we're going to the tight end. Boom. We're right in the middle of the field. we got to help in the middle because we're shading outside. We're basically a rat in the hole. Okay, we're a cover one. We're a rat in the hole. We're shading outside. That shade outside is going to stop C routes. It's going to do a decent job of stopping corner routes. And the pressure is going to absolutely scream. Now, again, if you want a little bit of help in stopping that number two receiver in the bunch, that slot, 
Go ahead and back this guy off. And what you'll see here, I'm going to go to Pat's Curl Flat. Now my tight end is not able to out leverage me as bad. And now I'm not getting beat as fast to the sideline. Really powerful. Obviously, you can combine abilities with this. My recommended thing to do is to put inside shade on this safety and inside shade on this guy. That's how I run my defense right now. And then I put edge threats on the line. I think edge threat is the most important ability in this defense. So we're going to have edge threats if, if, if at all possible. Now, if you see the running back block, again, I'm holding left trigger. I see the running back block. I want to engage and then get in the middle of the field. Okay, I want to engage and then get in the middle of the field. So I'm not worried about a C route in this defense because I'm shading outside. If I'm really worried about a C route, I'm going to outside third. I don't want to have to mess with that solo receiver, okay? That's really the key to the whole defense. If I can sit here and then get in the middle, that will make my defense significantly more powerful because they can't throw quick in the middle of the field. Now, if the running back runs a wheel... The blitz is coming in hot, right? So if the running back goes on a wheel route, now I'm okay to peel back. I'm okay to peel back in that area. I still want to kind of pop over the middle. And when you have inside chain on that tight end, that quick throw is nowhere near as consistent. They can't just quick throw the slant. They can't just quick throw this slant right here. That right there, while it works here, is not always going to work. Now another little quick pro tip, if you really want to mess with them, if you think they're sending that running back to the flat, one of my favorite things to do is I am going to drop the linebacker that's on the tight end side. We're going to drop him into a hook curl. This right here is super simple, but he's going to sit in the middle for that quick throw just like that. Okay, So you can kind of adapt this if you want. Another little real glitchy adjustment is to bluff blitz the defensive tackle opposite side of the running back. If they run a quick throw, he's going to drop right into that spot. That's a real dangerous throw this year. Okay? So that is how I run kind of the basic concept, if you will, of my defense. Now, the rest of the stuff, the specifics, the formational adjustments, the coverage schemes, the, um, you know, how to make everything look the same, all that stuff is in our ebook. We teach you a lot of different ways to run nickel over. Nickel over is extremely powerful this year because the blitz is so good, but it's also powerful because you um, four down lineman rush from nickel over is the best four down lineman rush in the game. That's the main reason why I'm in this defense, in my opinion. So if you want to learn how to run the entire nickel over defense, make sure you join my Patreon. Um, the link is in the description down below. It's only $10 to sign up, become a member, and you're going to get an incredible value. We've got 13 offensive and defensive ebooks available to you over there, as well as we're dropping a brand new defensive ebook this or offensive ebook this week. And um, you can kind of learn something from all of those things and then figure out what formation do you want to run and kind of master that. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is in the description. So head on down there and we hope to see you guys at the Patreon page.